Whitney High School. Well, the students there may soon have a new school. Baltimore County Executive Kevin Kamenet says overcrowding and aging buildings helped make his decision. ABC 2 News' Nadia Singh is live at the high school tonight with reaction from parents. Nadia. Well, Jamie, if all goes as planned, students won't be coming to school in this building anymore. Parents hope a new 21st century setting will offer students and the community more. When we spend money on education, it's an investment, not an expense. Parents of Delaney High School students and the community it stands in have wanted a new school for years. Because the message smart renovations and replacement schools say is you as a child and you as a teacher are valued. In a letter written by County Executive Kevin Kamenitz to interim Baltimore County School Superintendent Verletta White, he says it's his intention to include in the upcoming budget funding for a replacement for Delaney High. Once you build a school in a community, whether it's a good renovation or it's a new school, a new facility, you're building the community. And that community has been vocal for years about the current building, passionately pleading with the board for fixes to the school's issues. Lack of sufficient space, aging infrastructure, projected overcrowding. Members of the PTA and parents say Kamenitz's decision wasn't politically driven. Rather, it speaks to the needs of his constituents. I think the county executive has recognized that Delaney High School needs to be replaced for 21st century learning and for seats. Kamenet says he made the decision because of overcrowding and aging buildings. In his letter to White, he says data suggests more than a thousand additional high school seats are needed in the central corridor. The new Delaney High would accommodate 2300. The morale now will change. Opportunities will change. Um, it's a whole different setting. And in a statement to ABC2 News, Jamie White says she did indeed receive that letter I just mentioned from County Executive Kamenet. She goes on to say that the next steps include, quote, discussions with our Board of Education and facility staff to determine plans and timelines moving forward. Live in Baltimore County, Nadia Singh, ABC2 News. All right.